I mean, I, I was just shocked that like Jerome Powell was like literally told Congress twice, like, "Yo, don't don't play around with this. Just raise it and don't don't close the government." Because like, I don't think we can print our way out of it if you close it. And that was pretty surprising just hearing that come out of Jerome Powell's mouth. And so I was like, "Wow, interesting." Mm. Yeah, he uh, he doesn't want the the headache of of that. It's sort of counter to what he's trying to achieve at the moment. I mean, have you, do so, you think he's done a good job? I mean, obviously, like, I mean, they should have been raising rates a long time ago, but like, yeah. you know, what do you, what do you, I mean, cause you're, you know, you work in the traditional space and stuff like that, right? And you have a background in that. I mean, what do you think about what's been going on with the interest rate hike increases and stuff? Cause like, it looks like we're having two yeah. more increases. So yeah, obviously they were late to the party. Um, yeah. You know, they should have, they should have gotten there sooner. Um, the inflation isn't really their fault, Yeah. but their sole response to it is their fault. Um, so they, uh, they had very low unemployment, uh, but they decided to hold off for a very long time. Anyway, this is part of the whole COVID thing, right? So, you know, they, they, they decided it was every, their job to basically make sure nobody was directly punished. Um, you know, so they, we threw free money at everybody fiscally, and then also they brought interest rates down to zero. Um, you know, <laughs> I mean, I won't go into what I think about that whole thing, but it's uh you know uh the whole thing was was uh you know pretty mishandled by governments globally speaking everywhere um and uh we're paying the repercussions of that right currently uh that's that that's that's the hangover when you when you do these extraordinary policy things you there's always a there's always an impact and a lag a lagged one right and the you know in a sense you you pick winners right yeah. So, you know, the, the big winners of COVID are, are were basically asset owners, wealthy people. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, and hand what did they, do? They, sent, they sent they sent Dylan. They sent Dylan like, what, a thousand bucks. How much did you get? Yeah, I got twelve hundred bucks for a stimulus yeah. check. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. What was that? You feel pretty good. What was that early? 2020? You feel pretty good about that. That was uh, April of twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah. 